Hi folks, this is uh, Jared Petty from IGN, and I'm here with the fabulous, the lovely, the talented... Whoa! Naomi Kyle. Indeed! <laughs> uh, you act surprised. You are surely aware that you were I all those things. I did not expect such a gracious uh, uh, introduction. Really? Yeah, I didn't uh, I didn't expect it. Oh, uh, yeah, you deserve more, definitely. Oh, Jared, stop it. it. Pour in the flattery <laughs> on here. We're playing GTA Online and uh, having a good time with it, walking around in deathmatch, and you can... Uh, Watching yep. me get torn to pieces here in a minute, folks, if you really want. But yep. Oh, like that, for oh. example. Just what happens when you run out in the yeah, open. Yeah, that's a rough one. Yeah. Well. Now, Jared, you said that you haven't played for a while, but uh, you've had quite a bit of time uh, with this GTA game. Uh, I have played a lot of GTA. I, yeah. I was a lead on the GTA Five wiki, and uh, that led to a fair bit of GTA exposure. I played this for weeks and weeks, really enjoyed the game quite a bit. And I'm excited about the fact that... Uh, a a couple of days ago, we had a, a little bit of a leak in the uh, press pop out. Somebody, That's correct. Uh, somebody showed very early footage from the GTA 5, or pardon me, the GTA Online content creator. That is correct. And uh, we know a little bit about that, but it was an early build, and we only got a little bit of uh, video footage from it, but it's an exciting prospect. And that got us thinking uh, what we'd like to see in the final product, what we'd like the content creator to look like. Now, from what I understand, Rockstar's going to keep improving this thing as it goes on, so there's going to be version after version of this, I suspect. Uh, ultimately, Naomi, what are some of the things you'd like to see in a GTA Online content creation program? Well, I'd like to be able to create different races. Um, I've, I've always been intrigued at making my own triathlon, but doing a little more scary or edgier version of it. Oh, okay, what's a scary <laughs> or edgy triathlon look like? Um, I mean, there might have, depending on what the content creator really allows you to do, uh, there could be various things, but I, I'm looking at, you know, ways of interrupting some of my participants in the triathlon uh, with different uh, obstacle courses, like multiple cars going at you at once, chasing you maybe during one of the uh, running parts of the triathlon, and and just including animals chasing werewolves? you in the water, werewolves, Can there sharks. be werewolves? Oh, yeah. awesome. Sharks? Land sharks? That would be cool. Sharknados? Sharknados. I would be okay with If a, a content crea creator allowed for Sharknados, Jared, I think that would be huge. Uh, yeah, <laughs> People I, I, would love that. Absolutely. I think they they already had tremendous sales with this game, but I do think they'd double it. Yeah, I, I would run out tomorrow and buy extra copies just so I could say I have five Sharknados in my house. <laughs> <laughs> Not just one. Uh, n no joke, though. It, it is it is pretty fantastic. That yeah, the this. idea of it is really fun. I think it's going to allow people to go back to the online portion. Uh, you know, keep it keep it going. Keep people staying on the the online portion of the game and, and I think it'll be great. I've been concentrating on the conversation and not the not the playing and that's leading to me being very, very dead a lot. <laughs> that's I, I hope okay. our yeah, I hope our, our listeners and viewers are, are friendly about that. Yeah. But um, please forgive me all. I am better than this. Not much, but a little. <laughs> uh, the uh, it, the thing that excites me with the content creator is uh, a long time ago uh, when, when computer games are still in their infancy and, and back in days of yore when I was young, uh, a lot of games came with content creators. It, it, was, it was a part of a lot of software packages. It was just an expected thing. It yeah. was, yeah. I, and some of, the, some of the early primitive games had very powerful content creators. Uh, and that leads me to, to really hope for a lot out of this, not necessarily in its first version, but in the long run. I mean, yes, I want to be able to edit death matches. I want to be able to edit races. Wow, I finished terribly. <laughs> I, I, I want to be able to create new kinds of jobs. And, right. and I think a lot of people are hoping that eventually they're going to be able to create heists, which are the big multi-stage yes. missions. That, yeah. it, that is definitely the intrigue for me, just being able to uh, plan out your own story with a heist. Like, be able to figure out... You know, how you're going to go about it, really pick out the people that you want in, as part of your team. I mean, everything that you see in the game, basically, but uh, that you can make your own and uh, customize yourself. I think it's really intriguing. Really I'd fun. like that, yeah. And having scripted events where you can move from place to place like the real in-game heist do, or you can fade out in one spot and suddenly you're in a helicopter two miles away doing a different part of it. You know, yeah. That'd be great. That would Maybe be so cool. Uh, another thing, but I'd, I'd also like to see some, some stuff that hasn't been tested, yeah, or the boundaries haven't been tested in other games so much. Mm -hmm. For example, um, we, we were playing around in the closet here a minute ago. I want people to be able to do fashion designers. Uh, not Ooh. just put logos on shirts. Yes, logos would be cool, but to be able to design and tailor clothing. And then have a, their own store where they could sell that clothing. Exactly. That would and be really neat. Be able to pull XP out of that. Not just money, but experience. Yeah. Or, or p uh, cater to people's interests. Let them design houses. You know, GTA has this huge world full of empty buildings. Yes. Let people start filling in the insides of them uh, yeah. on different servers. See, that would be the uh, an extreme version of GTA. And <laughs> I think that would... 
that would make GTA a, a kind of standard in the industry because people love role playing like that and having the freedom to be able to do whatever they want in the game. And I think that kind of dollhouse stuff has a wide appeal. It does. Uh, it, it hasn't been it hasn't been done very much, but people something play. I'm very interested in personally. Like I don't know if you know Ready Player One, the book. Um, it's a really intriguing story about a guy who creates this huge, massive world where all, where all of a sudden it's an open world game where you have different galaxies based off the Star Wars trilogies based off uh, The Hobbit and, and Lord of the Rings. Like, there's every world is accessible, accessible and every world can be made your own. And you could basically live in this game, and, and the game's called The Oasis. And, and I think GTA V is already taking steps towards creating kind of a game that just allows you to explore every possible option and just really, you know... Live, I, live a life in a game. I agree with you. I, 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 I know we're talking about stuff that sounds, you know, almost science fictional. It or does, really yeah. <laughs> But, okay, w taking, it, taking it into, into the sphere of where we sit right now, GTA V did things technically that we didn't really know were possible. Right. Uh, with the Xbox Yeah, they've and the made PS3. Le they've done a lot that has brought uh, new, new things to the game industry, things that uh, people didn't explore at first. And now uh, we have the opportunity, I hope, through the online space. This product, I, it seems they intend for this to last for years. If they keep adding to it, mm -hmm. it would not be unrealistic to be able to think about manipulating the map, creating your own islands, creating your own homes, yeah. fashion lines, character customization. I, and I doing all that within the online world where you yeah. can have some of your friends join in and start a, your own community of friends in the GTA world. Absolutely. I, w I want to <laughs> see a dungeon, man. You know, people have been talking about... A dungeon. About, oh, a dungeon. That would be super cool. Well, there's, a, you know, all that Mount Chiliad map, people have been trying to solve the mystery mm -hmm. of what's down there, if anything. There's all kinds of weird clues. But what if you could create dungeons stocked with, with AI that you created right. or scripted, now, robots and dinosaurs <laughs> and aliens? You know, I want to do this. Yeah, all this stuff is interesting. And, and I'm actually wondering, is this something that you were able to explore? Because you said that, you know, in past games, content creators were kind of uh, a known thing and were in a lot of games I, are you pulling from your own experience with those content those past content creators taking things to that extent not necessarily although th there were some pretty powerful products back in the day um and oh, there still are for that to this day for that matter uh let me get an example uh, i i think immediately of uh, the sims 3 as an inspiration oh, for what yes, i'd like to be able course. to do in this game yeah you know you could i was a huge sims fan back in the day but if I haven't gone back since sim city but <laughs> oh i i'd love to see sims uh, a sims like element added to this but but I think immediately of an old game called uh, Adventure Construction Kit, I believe it was, or Adventure Ooh. Construction Set. I don't remember which. It was an Apple II, Commodore 64, IBM program. And you could create Ultima-style role-playing games, mystery games, sci-fi. And this is back in the mid-'80s right. with incredible scripted depth. Uh, you could really do a lot with them. I also think that about the really Scribblenaut cool. games, which have a great uh, content yes, creation tool. Yes, Scribblenauts is uh, great for that. So there's a few, a few things. Yeah. yeah. Um, Naomi, I, I think we've probably explored the dreams of what we'd like to see uh, quite a bit here. <laughs> I probably carried it to its end. There's no, a lot. No, it's good. Yeah, there's there's a, any other ideas you'd want to see integrated before we go? I mean, I think you covered it all. Like <laughs> it, to have that freedom would be great. And then it, it comes down to what we can initially do with uh, the content creator, which we have yet to see. Um, yeah. I, we've heard le very little about it. Uh, just that it's coming, and we don't know when. Uh, so th I think that's a good round off to kind of our exploration of the content creator as, as a video game genre. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I hope more comes of it. I, I, I do. I do, too. I, I, I want to see these tools available <laughs> to people. There, and for uh, folks who want to start developing things now, you know, there's stuff out there like Game Maker and Unity, and they can build some of their own stuff at home. But uh, giving really nice point-and-click tools like this, oh, I just can't wait. Well, <laughs> anyway, that was a lot of fun. You got to watch us uh, die a few times in GTA <laughs> Online Deathmatch and uh, talk about uh, the, the science fiction future that could become reality in GTA Five's content creator. Uh, thanks a lot, folks. And uh, for all your needs, where do these uh, people need to go if they want to learn about GTA Five, GTA Online, uh, or various and sundry other entertainment and video game type stuff? Keep Where's it to IGN, of course. IGN. Always indeed. and every day. And, and forever. forever. And forever. <laughs> all right. Thanks a lot. Bye.